in this month's article, we talk about fishing stained water. We talk about fishing uh, tidal rips. We talk about fishing shallow grass. We talk about later in the day fishing a little bit deeper lichen structure. Um, we all know what we've had in, you know, in, along the middle coast with 30 plus inches of rain. Made, made the conditions really tough at times. What I've found to work the best for me up shallow under big pods of bait is the Texas Custom Double D, especially the Pearl Harbor and the Gringo. With stained water, that white and that gold is really, really good. Really picks up a good gold flash on the Pearl Harbor. It's been a really good bait for us. You notice my line up here is pretty basic. This opening night in salt and pepper, Little John XL, been a really, really good bait for us in the off-colored water, especially over grass. I uh, got a, about half and half with the chartreuse tail on here because that off-color water, sometimes that chartreuse tail just lights the bait up a little bit, gives them a smaller target if they're not really wanting to aggressively feed. It's got a little bit smaller target that they key on, key in on and get up there and get after. So you're experiencing, if you're fishing the Middle Texas coast, you're experiencing what I'm experiencing right now today. Slick calm, hot, very hot. Early morning bites. My best bites have been on moonset miners. Just after the full moon, it's been really good for us. We've had a really good day today already. Uh, double Ds, mirror lure, Little John XLs, provokers, uh, and Little Johns, Texas Customs, um, true lock heads in 16th and two aught. Really easy to work through that short shoal grass. And uh, been very effective for us. So, as always, thanks for reading the articles. Thanks for buying the magazine. Appreciate all of y'all out there that are practicing conservation in these tough times. Um, keep what you need. Let the rest swim. Thank you.